Hey everyone, John from BikeFit Advisor. So this week we're gonna go over whether cleat wedges and shims are useful. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what these wedges and shims are, they're merely like, this is a, a shim. It's just same thickness throughout. It's actually three millimeters. And th this is an example of a wedge. You can see it's, it's thinner on one side and thicker on the other. Both these things go underneath cleats. So this is for a speed play pedal as is this and the wedge is gonna cant the cleat one direction. So these are useful, but again, they are overused. Most often you hear about them being used for knee paths or how the knee is moving. Um, is it moving away from the bike or towards the bike or is it moving kind of in a, in a strange pattern? But this is problematic because often the knee motion isn't coming from anything that's going on at the foot. And so using a, a shim or a wedge often isn't gonna really have a major effect on these things. One of the more common um, corrections you hear about, I hear about is when people have a knee that kind of drifts in as they pedal, often people will put a, uh, a wedge here into a varus placement, meaning they would put the thicker side of the, of the, of the wedge under the inside of the, of the cleat and uh, just to cant the foot out a little bit. And that's supposed to help then control the knee motion. And this happens occasionally, but uh, not off, not as often as I see these used. So we have to understand that not all knee motion comes from the feet, of course. So just because a knee drifts doesn't automatically point to one of these wedges or shims. There are many more causes to kind of some aberrant knee motions. One really common cause is when somebody is just sitting um, skewed on their saddle. They're sitting with one hip further forward or the pelvis isn't square on the seat. And incidentally, this skewed sitting posture I found can be um, enhanced in a bad way. It can be actually worsened by having the wrong reach of the bike, um, so essentially how far you have to reach to the handlebars, um, or having the hips in the wrong place relative to the feet. Both of these things, if they're not, if it's not correct in, the, in our bike fit, can actually make this twist even worse. So let me let you in on one secret about these wedges and shims, and it's that often they can be temporary. Now, why is this, you ask? Well, what happens a lot of times is when we do have a wedge or a shim, and it is helpful in the short term, this puts the body into a better, more neutral position, and it can change the rider's mechanics in a good way. We create a new motor plan, and different muscles begin working many times, and to support this new posture. Now, I'll usually check back in with people that I put shims or wedges under every couple of weeks just to make sure things are going okay, but then I've had numerous circumstances uh, where people, they can come back, and it's usually about four to six months at least later, and we can test them then without this crutch, without the wedge or the shim, and actually the, the mechanics, their mechanics hold. They actually kind of don't need those wedges or those shims anymore. So in some respects, they can be useful in, as, as sort of a temporary crutch, essentially, where it can sort of teach the body it's a, a new, more neutral path and in, in a strange way can help, you know, can help with supporting that as well. Now, this doesn't happen every time. There are many circumstances where we, they, we take them out and person's mechanics re re revert right back and we have to, you know, of course, leave them in. But it is worth exploring. And so if this is something that, that you do have in your bike fit and you're using these wedges or these shims, it can be useful to go back and retest. So if your knees do drift, let's say, let's say you notice that they're moving medially or laterally or there's some aberrant motion happening, you might look into whether you are sitting square on the bike, square on that saddle. Or maybe you might look at whether your reach is, is set appropriately. Is it too long? Is it too short? Is, are the bars too high? And you also might look again, are the hips in the right place relative to the feet? All these will have sort of different indicators. For instance, like sitting skewed, you might notice that, uh, for instance, the inside of one thigh is closer to the saddle than the other. You might have uneven wear on your on your shorts or on your saddle itself. You might suspect that your hips are in the wrong place relative to your feet if you have excess pressure on your hands because that's one of the symptoms of having the, the wrong hip position. And I want to be clear, I rarely see anybody that sits perfectly square on their saddle. It doesn't happen very often. So it is worth investigating and trying to figure out why exactly you're sitting that way. And in most cases, it's really basic things. It's you know, one hip has a, is a, it moves a little easier than the other, or or we have an imbalance through one side of the lumbar spine. So it's it's usually it's usually something you know fairly minor that is creating it. And it's not that we have to get everyone to sit perfectly square, but if we can sit a little more even, a lot of times we correct that knee path and have no need for the wedges or the shims. So let me know your experience with uh, with these. If you've used them, if you're thinking about using them, if you had a, 
a bike fitter that uh, that uh, put them in and whether they were successful. They, uh, like I said, many times they can be very successful, uh, but we really need to apply them in very particular scenarios. And like I said, it's always good to investigate sort of some of the other things that are you know, perhaps more likely in certain situations to cause this skewed sitting. So that's all I have for this one. Thanks everybody. Uh, check down in the description below. I've got a few new programs that are up that are available on my website. As always, you can sign up there for free as a member to get access to uh, some exclusive uh, um, information and videos. Thanks everyone. I will see you next time.